So I'm coming at you from the Indian Arm, a fjord in southwest British Columbia. And today we're out doing some exploring, some uninhabited islands. We're going to see some powerhouses, some waterfall, and we're going to see whatever else we can see. So follow along with me on this journey up the Indian Arm and spend the night. Spend the night with me. <laughs> So, we we're just leaving Deep Cove. You can see behind me in all its glory. And I am <laughs> two hours probably further behind than I would like to be. But that's uh, far from the course for me. I am, yeah, I'm not gonna be on time. So we're gonna hit it. We got about 20K to paddle today. So it should be four or five hours, which, you know, should be pretty doable. And uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of go up to the left up here and then cut across and then hug the right hand side. So let's go. It's a pretty cool looking diving board, houses. So I'm out front of a very mediocre lighthouse. And we got a couple islands out here. One island, two islands in the distance there. So I think I'm gonna use this there's a little bridge, so I'm gonna head cross over the first island and be on the other side. So, as luck would have it, as I was trying to cross through this little port here, my battery died. So, it's a good time for a stop. Got some pepperoni sticks, maybe something else too, but um, it is, I did leave, like I said, I left way later than intended. So, I do want to put some time in, so I'm going to have a quick snack, maybe check out this island a little bit, and then we're going to hit the road, hit the, hit the water. Because my map says I've been gone 10K, but looking at the map map, it just doesn't seem like I'm halfway. So anyways, I do want to push the pace a little bit, but I'll check out this island, have some pepperoni, and then we'll go.
And now we've come across my fellow powerhouse. This is Bunsen Lake Powerhouse number two. It's pretty spectacular looking. It was built in 1914 and it was the original home of Stephen King's It. And from here, we're going to round the corner and coming into view is going to be Bunsen Powerhouse number one. This was the OG. It was built in 1904 and was the original powerhouse to supply hydroelectric power to Vancouver. And now I'm starting to realize that I gotta make some hay. So I put my head down and just started paddling. Cranked out a good 10, 15K on my way to the beach. So we're gonna go on a tour of the campsite here. My stuff's all up from the beach. That is tidal, so I brought it nice and high. This is all my stuff. This is where I'm gonna sleep. If it was up to me, I would actually camp. It is up to me, but I would like to camp on this point where this lighthouse is, that we're gonna go to in a second here. But I would like to camp there, but then I'm like, if somebody does come, because it's plausible that somebody comes, like I kind of doubt anybody's gonna paddle in here. Anyways, if somebody did show up, I'd feel like an asshole being camped out by the lighthouse if somebody wanted to come tour it. So I'm gonna settle there. You get a waterfall you can hear up in here, which we'll go to after, but first we're gonna go to this lighthouse. Crab leg, probably from a bird. Feel like a spot a bird would sit. And as I walked out here earlier, just uh, explore. My GoPro originally died immediately as I hit camp, and I was like, "Oh, let's go exploring." It's like dead. But I saw down here. I seen a little sea otter eating a fish, and I got some footage on my cell phone camera. That's fucking rad. So that was pretty sweet, so. Anyways, I'm gonna head back. You can see the waterfall up here. So I'm gonna get a little closer to it. See what else we can see. Couple outhouses. Bear cash. Waterfalls are dangerous. <laughs> Obviously. This place is rad.
And that is a big old waterfall. Dude, this thing is so badass. This is like, this is the best spot. Gonna set up camp. I'm gonna put my tent up in seven months, eight months. The tent's all set up, and uh, the rest of camp is set up. Set my stuff out to make dinner, my table, my chair. I'm not going to bother putting up a tarp. It might rain, but not enough to justify putting up a tarp. It's my theory. Uh, the tent should keep me dry. And I might need to put up a tarp in the morning if it does rain in the morning. To, it would be nice to get up to something dry, but anyways, I'm not going to do it. Put that together, make some food, and just hang out. There's uh, nothing left to do. starts filmed a review for this and it only started one out of like 17 times well there we go in the field it tests tests out good Put some Italian sausage on the cook to make some tomato alfredo pestos my new silicone pot. We got some some more people showing up, so we'll probably have guests for the night. I was gonna make dinner, hang out, go to bed. It's gonna be some runny pasta. Well, good morning. It is uh, a little after nine this morning. I have absolutely not been in a rush to do anything. It rained lightly, but all night. And it's slowly trickling off this morning. So I didn't really want to get out of bed until it, uh, until it slowed or stopped. And I, last time I looked at the forecast, it was supposed to wind down or like as the day progressed. So that's basically what it's doing but I just wanted to wait it out but it's about time where I'm gonna have to go out work on the morning routine
so the tide has gone down substantially. Because my boat is up there, and I feel like down around here by like these rocks was where I carried it up from yesterday. Now it is way down here. So, you can see how far away that is. So, tide has really gone down, so that means I'm probably gonna be paddling against the tide on the way out, which I think that's bad, but it is what it is. rain has really lightened up and the sun feels like it's about to maybe not about to but I feel like the sun's gonna come out so I'm just going sweatpants and see the sun there so I'm just getting sweatpants and flannel here I got a tarp side by side a lot of times I like to tarp my legs if it's raining and just get wet up top yeah so that's probably the plan for the day if you look out on the right hand side here this is actually an island so I think I'm gonna cross this bay towards that island and then hang to the right today because I was on the well my left now today yesterday so I'll hit up the other side so yeah that's the plan of attack so let's hit it see it in my background there. And then I'm gonna nose in and uh, see what I can see. It's a badass waterfall. We got all sorts of jellyfish in the water below. Trip doesn't get any better than this so that's it that's the end of this episode Indian arm canoe camp peace